Hi there and welcome to Bandwidth Blog TV. I'm Jakubus Krul and I'm at the Royal Holloway University of London and we're invited by Kaspersky to find out more about antivirus programs and malware that is on your PC and what influence it has on you. Now we're looking at how we could reduce the risk of viruses on our computers as well as the future technology as to how Kaspersky is using it to make it less. Ah, uh, England. A beautiful country with amazing history, proud traditions and of course iconic buildings. Bandwidth Blog TV was invited by the Kaspersky Antivirus team to this magnificent country to chat about the future of the war against malware and viruses and what consumers should be looking out for. So, we hear about viruses infecting our computers on a day-to-day -day basis, but what does that actually mean? Dr. Joel Greenberg explained that the first machine that could encrypt messages was way back in World War II. The Germans created a machine called the Enigma. The Enigma could be used to encrypt and decrypt messages sent from it. The only way you could decrypt it is if you also had an Enigma machine and knew what the combinations was used to encrypt the same message. Now it's decades later and with advanced technology, encrypting information has become much more critical. The encryption of messages is now used to protect your valuable information from viruses and malware, people trying to steal your information and make money off it. Viruses have increased from one unique virus every hour in 1994 to about 200,000 every day in 2013. So what type of information is malware after and why? Well, I think we have a threat landscape dominated by cybercrime. Now on the one hand, for individuals, that really means that a cyber criminal is using your computer to get your information, to get access to your bank account and steal your money. For businesses, that really means people launching targeted attacks which are designed to steal commercial secrets or they're designed to disrupt that business and maybe try and extort money or actually to attack a business as a form of political or social protest. The job really of security experts is to engineer systems really which are robust and which make life difficult for the cyber criminals, for those people who want to misuse computers. How can we protect ourselves from viruses and malware and people trying to steal our information? Several simple advices. Uh, let me start from the basic one. Use antivirus solution. Reliable, regular updated, payable because it's like a base, base protection. It will minimize your risks uh, to be infected. Second, uh, use up-to-date software, uh, starting from operation system, then Office, Adobe, any kind of software you use, it should be updated and licensed. Third advice, passwords. Use different passwords, uh, quite strong one, complicated one, and try to change them regularly. Don't click to anything. Like if somebody sends you uh, a message, don't like click on the link. If you uh, have a, some kind of a pop-up, read before click. And uh, fifth, maybe is the most important thing, use your brain. As the future of cybersecurity lies in the next generation's hands, Kaspersky also invited students from around the world to give them a chance to pitch their ideas on hitting back on cybercrime. Rain Reed proudly represented South Africa at the conference. My project is uh, also cybersecurity related, uh, uh, more specifically cybersecurity education, which is targeting children, and I'm educating children about it using a game-based approach, which is brain compatible. Now there are not many girls at this stage studying. It seems to be a male-dominated field, but um, it's definitely worth uh, looking at for other girls. It's really fun, enjoyable field. So there you have it. No one is safe from viruses or malware. Make sure you use a very good antivirus program or software, even on your mobile device, to protect your information so people won't make money off it. For more information, visit bandwithblog.com.